Here is an LED, ooh, LED, uh, light bulb. This is a Cree bulb, which is suitable for wet locations. Well, it's wet all right. This bulb was one of the ones I had gotten to try to use for the uplighting on the two trees by the deck and failed prematurely however in this particular case I can't blame it entirely on the bulb itself because the way I had installed it inherently allowed some water to get into the water the um, socket and so water got into the socket and it actually started boiling inside the socket there's a video on that when that happened and uh, the bulb was still working at the time no, actually, no. I think the bulb had gone out. But I'm wondering if it actually failed or if it just ceased to make a connection because the contacts are very corroded now. So, let's go ahead and scrape the bottom of this off a little bit to clean it up. So now we know that can make contact. The threads aren't that bad, it'll make contact somewhere along the edges. So now let's put it into the light bulb socket. That was an intelligent way to move this. Now let's see if this thing still works. It does not work, which I can't really blame it for. So now I guess we're going to have to open this up and see what corroded, what failed. I guess what happened was this, it must have turned into steam and somehow the steam entered. It must have gone like up through here because now it's all in there and it's been in here for probably several months now I put this in back in the summer so it's obviously not able to escape well, let's see if we can open this thing up and find out what it looks like inside Cree lighting here's what it looked like on the inside it appears to be just one singular diode in there and then if you look in through the bottom you can see the some of the circuitry has corroded so that's of course going to be from the water vapor entering in there and uh, so some component must have just corroded off the board or a trace rotted out or something failed so we're not going to be able to repair that but it's not a big loss it's just a stinking LED it's kind of a shame because even though it did flicker horrifically and it could never be used inside, it was generally acceptable for the uplighting out in the backyard. And just for the sake of curiosity, here's a look at the optics on the inside of the lens. It's completely flat on the front and then inside there's a little indent there which probably went around the diode and then uh, there's all like little prismic shapes in there to sp spread out the light so that's kind of interesting especially considering that the majority of the integrated LED fixtures that we see today the failure point is within the optics poor light distribution poor light shielding from the user's eyes etc and this one actually looks like it was halfway reasonable <laughs> 